Yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. module for that there of course there is <laughs> this we are at drupal south in melbourne of which john doyle is very proud hi very proud <laughs> john you run a little company called commotion yes i do tell us about what you do and and about commotion okay so i'm the gm of technology and solutions architecture for commotion uh, we're a full-service digital agency. We've been around for a number of years now. I've been with Commotion itself for seven years. We're based in uh, Melbourne, Sydney, and satellite office in Brisbane. We also have team members in Canberra. And uh, we offer the, the full digital solution from strategy, uh, customer experience design, right on through implementation, apps, websites, etc. So um, we, we have a... Uh, real focus on production in the Melbourne office, um, sales, PM, etc. Mainly operating in apps. So. Okay, and how big an operation is it? So we're we're thirty uh, full time, but we scale depending on projects. Okay. Now, head of technology. Head of technology. Talk about how you've been meeting your customers' needs all these years. What have you been using? Okay, so. Commotion itself came about from the merger of two organisations. Uh, a, a, an operation in Melbourne which was product focused and it was a company called Komodo CMS and they had a proprietary CMS, Lampstack, which went through a couple of different iterations and then came into to being 10 or so years ago. Um, it's now up to version 7 and it's still our proprietary system. Uh, it, over the years, has you know, won awards for innovation for being the, you know, one of the first SaaS-based, um, certainly in, in uh, Australia, Australian-based SaaS, off SaaS offerings for CMS. We offer a managed solution as far as technology goes for our clients. So, uh, you know, we, we, we manage our whole infrastructure and everything that goes with it. Um, along the way, obviously, we've looked at a number of different uh, technologies. We've looked at a number of the different trends uh, through time, and but but we've kept everything in house to date. It's on our, like I said, proprietary system, which comes with its own foibles, um, and and it's getting to the point now where we're saying, what else is there in the marketplace that is mature enough, enterprise ready, and able to deliver for our clients and for us what we need for our strategy, um, not just in technology but actually wider for an organisation nowadays. So, we we deal a lot at the C level, the exec level with uh, organisations, driving digital strategy, helping them shape their digital teams, um, and you know, through content, through design, through our digital and, and technology solutions, we really partner with them for the long haul, and we need something to partner with for the long haul too. So would it be fair to say that you've reached the limit of what you can do with this in-house system? You know, well, there's, look, there's a lot of uh, thought that goes into your internal systems. It's, it's a passion of ours. We love product. We love our clients. We love a good user experience. And it, it was interesting because at, uh, at the, the keynote, uh, first day keynote at Drupal South, Angie mentioned the path that, that Drupal has gone on over time from and, and how it's evolved from um, saying we can do it better than what's out there already to looking at the frameworks that are available and integrating with those frameworks, leveraging off the work of other brilliant minds and driving it into the product. And interestingly, we've, done, we've, we've taken a very similar path with our own product. Uh, we have at first, and way back in the day when Drupal was very, very early, we, we were still looking at what options were out there. And we just looked at it and said, it doesn't quite do what we need to do now to deliver for our clients. We built our own systems, we built our own infrastructure, uh, 
We've, we've built all of our own uh, processes, our way of working, our own interfaces. But it has got to the point now where we say, for us to take the next step and extend our platform the way that we want to, because we see our platform being much, much more than the CMS, it needs to be a full marketing tool suite. We said what we really need to do is partner with Best of Breed, bring them all together, package them as a solution for our clients and extend them where we need to, that is going to give them everything that they need day to day from a marketer's point of view. We just can't compete with the passion and the level of input and contribution that a project such as Drupal actually has behind it. And we've looked at it and said, we, we understand that, we agree with the direction it's taking, we think that the minds that are behind it are brilliant and we're jumping on board. That's basically where, that, that's how we've come to where we are. And it's been a very similar path. So, just in case it's not clear already, um, Commotion is now turning itself into a uh, Drupal-based digital agency, hiring with one stroke 20, 30,000 more developers, <laughs> which is awesome, right? Of All Absolutely. of the Drupal communities Absolutely. on your side now. We've actually been a, a platform agnostic shop for a while. Um, we, we, and when I say platform agnostic, I really mean platform agnostic uh, from uh, SharePoint through uh, Sitecore through Drupal. So we actually already do, do uh, maintain a few Drupal sites for clients. WordPress, don't shoot me for it. Um, and other .NET solutions as well and custom solutions. So we understand that the best solution uh, for our clients is the goal. For us as a client, our best solution at the moment is Drupal. And that's why, although we, we work in Drupal, we haven't, we haven't engaged it to the point that we could have, um, only because we were across so many different platforms, but we are fully engaging it now. And we're actually taking our proprietary platform and we're going to be uh, converting that to uh, run off Drupal, the complete platform. Right, so talk about the advantages that you're going to get because uh, CMS is a solved problem for you now. Yep. You don't have to maintain that. You can get on with the interesting stuff that your clients that really add value, right? Your unique selling points. Absolutely. And, and even, you know, C CMS is only, only one part of it. We look at the, the uh, roadmap of Drupal and, and see where it's going with the, the idea of headless Drupal. Um, content management uh, across the enterprise being a really important point. The fact that it's, and, and we, we really are looking at it as a framework more than, more than a CMS, which we should be. And we're actually now able to take best of breed solutions in, in marketing automation, uh, in, in tools such as EDM, uh, certainly CRM, uh, and we're bringing those together in, in a full dashboard suite with Drupal as a central point of entry to all of them, and we'll be manage, managing all of them as well. We're still gonna be offering a, a SaaS-based solution. Um, it's completely managed for our client base, and the real advantages to us are that we just cannot scale to meet what we need to meet without taking on board the expertise that is in the Drupal community. We just can't do it. Um, and we understand that and we actually embrace it. That's why we're here. What sort of advantages does Drupal bring to, to a digital agency? Well, to us as a digital agency, uh, the, like I said, the biggest advantage is we no longer have to be looking for Komodo CMS developers. And for me as a technology manager, that means a lot because for us just to onboard an expert in our tool takes a year because they've got to come on board, got to understand our system, got to understand our client base, then we've got to get them to work, then they've got to build their skill set. It actually takes a long time. Whereas we look out to the Drupal community and there's a massive wealth of expertise already. So for me, that's, that's huge. But the biggest thing, and, and, and it's the shift to us being able to move in a much more agile fashion with our projects. Traditionally, we've worked in a very waterfall process throughout our organisation. With Drupal, we're really looking at it uh, and how we can prototype functionality very rapidly, get it in front of our clients, uh, 
go through a whole iterative process with them with continually delivering working prototypes. And it makes a, a complete change to the way that they see us as an agency because now we're, we are that agency that is sitting down with them, listening, making change, they're seeing change. It's no longer a black box. And that's hugely valuable for the agency. Mm. So there's a coffee break being set up behind us. Let's <laughs> hope that we can manage this in any case. Sure. How are your clients going to benefit from you turning into a, a Drupal-based digital agency? Our clients directly? There's a few different ways. Um, one way is with proprietary code, with any proprietary solution, a client feels locked into you. They, they feel that they're with you regardless through the good and the bad. They can't bring in internal expertise because they don't know the system. They feel as though you're holding something over them, which is a very uncomfortable uh, place to be. I feel a very uncomfortable place to be. And we've felt that for a long time. That's why we're an agnostic shop. But what our clients get out of is they, they get not only the, the trust in us as their provider, and, and we are that, you know, that expert guide for them, but they also get the trust in the, the huge efforts of the Drupal community, in the incredible groundswell in Australia of a Drupal talent, but also um, uh, initiatives such as GovCMS rolling out there that makes a massive difference to the thinking of open source in general, but certainly Drupal in the enterprise. And they get a base level of comfort out of us going with a, a platform that they know is regularly maintained always security tested, um, has been out there in the trenches for a long time and is delivering some huge sites. And, and, and frankly, as an open source service provider, uh, any open source service provider, we, are, we, are, we must hold ourselves to the highest standard of service for our clients because there's no reason for them not to step away and find somebody else. There's no vendor lock-in, there's no, there's no secret sauce, right? Absolutely. And, and that is hugely powerful. I mean, the comfort that that gives our clients in saying, uh, yet yeah, we're going with you, what's the platform you're using? Well, we're using uh, an open source solution, it's Drupal. Can we move the code base if we need to? We hope you never need to, but of course you can. Yeah, absolutely. Not only that, but you can bring in your own expertise. You can look at contributed modules, and this is one of the other massive benefits for them, is with the huge uh, number of contributed modules that are really high grade, all of a sudden they have a feature set available to them that we just cannot provide as a small agency. We just can't do it. So they're able to say, we want function A, B, and C. And generally you can actually create function A, B, and C out of what's already contributed. Right, and spin it up fast, test it, check it, and implement it. Absolutely, and it goes back to that prototyping discussion where you can prototype these things rapidly in front of them and say, well, is this sort of what you want to do? And you'll get 80% there. The 20% might take some time but they at least have the knowledge and comfort that you're going down the right path. Right, and it's nothing compared to create cutting it out of whole cloth and, 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 and figuring out how to integrate it into... Absolutely. So as an agency, I'm fascinated that you actually have a ton of experience across technologies, uh, .NET, ASP, Java, PHP. It sounds like you've yeah. touched base level technologies and a lot of different products. You mentioned SharePoint. Absolutely. What journey did you go through? How did Drupal end up being your choice? What was the, what was, the, what did that process look like? <laughs> Interesting, it looked like a, a process very similar to any that our clients would take, where we, where we sat back and said, okay, well, what's the functionality we need? What's our internal skill set? What is the skill set of the support out there? And what does it mean to us to gain that support with proprietary solutions? We could always back another proprietary solution if we wanted to. So we're locked in, uh, just like our clients would be. We, we, we have to look at it and say, do we agree with the roadmap that is, that's out there? Do we have any influence on that roadmap? Because for our product, we have complete influence over it. We will still have complete influence over our product. And that's what I love about the open source movement in general. But from Drupal's point of view, we were looking at it saying, where is it from uh, an enterprise functionality set? Where is the leadership thinking going uh, as far as what the market is doing and how, how are they reacting to it? 
what is happening with uh, the expertise set in Australia in general, because that's obviously where we will be really driving for for resource. Uh, and then, you know, when, when, when we take it on board, what does it actually mean for us? Um, does it mean licensing? Does it mean uh, that at some point we, we uh, must hand over absolutely everything that we, we do for everything for every one of our clients? And all of those, you know, we ticked all of those boxes in our favour, <laughs> you know, you know? We can contribute and give and, uh, for me personally, running the, the tech team, I want to make sure that my tech team grow. And the best way for your tech team to grow is to be around experts and people who know what they're doing and have a passion for it just as they do. And that's a huge benefit for us as well because we're no longer a solo, siloed set. I'm part of something much, much bigger. And I can now see the growth path for our team as much as our product. Right, and having your devs submitting Drupal patches um, lets them work alongside the best in the industry and, and, and you know, learn the standards and learn the best practices and keep right on the cutting edge. Absolutely, absolutely. How long has it been since you took the decision to go with Drupal? How are you already benefiting? And how do you expect to be benefiting a year or two down the road? Look, it's interesting. It's been been a bit of a journey for us to make the decision it's uh, we have in, in our business we have uh, a certain amount of recurrent revenue based on on our current solution so we need to make sure that everything every decision that we make is uh, we really weigh out the risks and uh, and look at it we've had to do a lot of internal selling a lot of understanding from uh, our current feature set point of view, parity for our feature set, migration points for our clients, all of those sort of things. I went over to DrupalCon in May last year to really immerse myself in, in it and understand it a little bit more. So that was in Austin, um, which was absolutely fantastic. And it was there that I started to understand from, from, for me personally, not for my business, but for me personally, started to understand the size of this thing. Uh, and I, I came back from there a enthusiastic um, about what could be done, but then B with a real understanding of what it's going to take for us to do it. Understand that we had to skill our guys up, had to resource slightly differently, um, had to start making ch some changes. So we've really jumped in uh, boots and all uh, from December last year, uh, and we have uh, we've recruited senior uh, expert internally. We've um, partnered up with uh, Acquia uh, for our uh, as part of our solution, and you know we're, we're looking at GovCMS and what we can do there, how we can support that. We see ahead of us before we convert our our product itself. There's there, there's you know six to twelve months. We're, we're actually creating full distribution, so so we're really jumping in. Regardless of how long it takes us to get the, the product, etc., out, we, we will have a two to three year sunset for our, for our existing clients, as you do with any um, um, product uh, and migration path. But we we see us uh, bringing our new product to the to the market with an incredibly full uh, feature set, something that we just couldn't have done before, uh, either towards the end of this year or very very early next, which for us is phenomenal. Right. Um, complete change of platform, huge extension of our feature set. So highly, highly rapid development to essentially a very mature product. Oh, highly rapid development. Highly rapid. I mean, we've had 10 years building Komodo. Um, and we will, we, will, we will match that and extend it uh, in 12 months. Wow. Yeah. In, in today's business world, Every, every business is digital, right? Um, more or less everyone needs at least a website, if not a much more comprehensive digital presence. Um, and agencies like yours are the real multipliers, right? They're the real innovators, they're really the interface between technology and, and success. What would you tell your fellow agency technologists about your choice of open source and Drupal? I'd say a couple of things. The first is that we are, we're, we're really at a stage now where, and you look at you know, the, the value of the chief marketing officer uh, in making decisions around technology for marketing. Uh, you look at 
the growth of internal digital teams uh, and the skill set with internal digital teams within the organisations that we work with. And you've got to look at it and say, do we want to compete against that or do we want to actually enhance that? Of course you want to enhance it. You, you, you don't want to be butting heads with, with uh, the, your potential client base out there. So from a digital agency point of view, we have to understand that uh, organisations are seriously considering internal projects for open source and certainly for Drupal. They are questioning, certainly with what's happening in the media, in Australia at least, around, around uh, the government, why Drupal, where is it going, what does this mean for us, although it's government at the moment, it's filtering throughout uh, business. And you've got to say, with the skill set that's available to you, how can we engage in the community and actually build not only our product and our client base, but uh, our clients' knowledge and trust and comfort with what you're doing. And it's very, very difficult to do that without a tool such as Drupal and the open source movement behind it. We're able to leverage all of that knowledge and bring that knowledge to the table when we talk to our clients. And that's a, that's a huge win for us. John, yes. congratulations on, on I mean, this is really exciting, right? So congratulations that you've taken a step on this journey. Welcome to the Drupal community and, and good luck with everything. Thanks. Thank you. I'm glad to be a part of it all. Cheers. <laughs>